Hi, uh, this is Umam Hesh from CRM Monks. In this video, I'm going to explain about the basics of the liquid template code and how to start uh, developing the liquid template code using the web templates in CRM portals. The liquid uh, code can be categorized into the majorly three parts. Uh, one is the objects and other one is a tax and other one is a filters and the objects first we'll see about the objects the objects tells the liquid where to show the content on a page and objects and variables names are denoted by the double curly braces so here we can see the in between if you write the double curly braces that we will call it as objects for example, you have a page, whatever the web page we configured, that page title you want to display it on a, on a web page. We can give it here like this, two curly bases, page dot title, you can give it. And we can get, we can read another way uh, by using a attributes of an object can also be accessed by using a string name. So here we can give curly brace, page, square bracket, or double quotes, and you can give the curly brackets. The above statement and these statements is a both are same. We can get the same result. And tags, tags created in a logic and flow and control flow for a template. The tags are wrapped into the curly brace and percentage in between we need to give it percentage and curly brace for example we can give like a curly brace percentage if user name dot full name equal to equal to uma and you want to display hello uma and here we are and if this is how we will keep if conditions in a in a liquid template next coming to the filters so the liquid filters are used to modify the output of a string or numbers and variables and objects. They are separated from they are separated from the values to the which they are being applied by a pipe symbol. For example, we have a CRM months and 9000. Pipe symbol if you want to convert to the uppercase, then output will get like a CRM months at 9000 this will be converted as a output as a 9000 okay. and we can apply the some filters we can we can pass the parameters and the filters can also be combined or we can apply the left to the right this one so here for example you want to print it the 2 and time is a 2 and it's a minus 1 okay so we can give it this one two times we can filter two two into two is a four and minus one it's a total outcome is a three and if you want to append with the some name so we can append this string like this so like this totally we have a linear liquid templates we have a objects tags and filters so all the liquid statements is categorized these ty three types. Let's see how we can write a code in a liquid template and what where we can write and how it is configured in a web page. We'll see now. The most of the times we will write the liquid template code in a web templates. So first we need to create a web template. So create a new here we have to give web template name so I'm giving a test web template and here we have to select which website we are using 
and here we have to write that code so here i am giving here page dot title title i'm just here i'm passing this one if i save this one this page uh, web template and this web template for if you want to show in the uh, web page we have to create a page template so here we have a page template so here we need to create a page template then I click on a new so here we can give test page template and here we can select our web page then here if we have to select rewrite our web template i am selecting a web template so here we can search for our whichever we created that page template and we can use the same header and same footer we can use it and we can show it so once we click on a save for this page template then now we can go to the our own web page in that while creating a web page so here so give the your test web page and the web page name so per page home we can give the partial url i'm going to test web template and here page template we need to select whatever we created test page template then publisher state we can keep it published then once we saved it now we can go to the web and we can browse it by using a this page template here we can go give a slash we can give that url now you can see here it's showing your test web page whatever the web page name we have given that web page name it's showing this is how we can use the liquid template code uh, in a uh, tags and objects and we can use the filters also so in the real time this is how we will will be writing the liquid template code and crm portals thank you so much for watching this video